Okay. And uh, so we're going death. Good. So that's okay. Okay. Um, the good thing about when you copy this, like I did, um, is that, and something I haven't shown in my previous tutorials, is that these events thing for actors, um, it actually automatically made the event of when he dies, it'll create this um, death effect. And if it didn't copy that, it probably wouldn't do it. Um, so anyways, that's good, good to know. And let's duplicate. Duplicate the both actors, I mean. And let's, that's it, okay. So this next guy is going to be called the uh, Speed Beast. All right. Increasing his health again. But I'm going to increase his movement speed quite a bit. Oh, and one thing I didn't do, actually, is for the regular beast, his actor, the model size, I'm going to make it 1.1. And then for the speed beast, his actor, hold on, let me just set this to speed beast. There it is. And rename this to speed beast. Um, the actor for this, I'm going to set this to 1.1 as well. So he'll look the same, but he'll be a lot faster. And this, yep, it has our thing there. Zergling 2.2 for some reason is like the raw name inside the editor for our for our speed beast because we duplicated him twice. And yeah. Um, okay. So that guy's set. And uh, good to go. Okay. And let's duplicate the speed beast and the actors. Okay, and this version is going to be the giant beast and our last wave that I'm going to do for this tutorial and he's going to have 300 health because he's going to be a lot less spawned, um, not in a large group of course, and speed's going to be 1.2 so he's going to be pretty slow. Um, and let's set his actor now, giant beast, where's the giant beast, there's the giant beast. Okay, and the model size, let's make it size 2. Um, he's still going to have the same collision, actual, like the radius of his collision detection or whatever, so he can fit through small areas, but he's just going to have a larger looking model. Um, and it's good not to modify the actual, like, inside here, the actual, like, radius or whatever, the collision crap inside here, um, because you don't want him to make him too big, and then he can't fit through the little... The, when you maze your towers, you don't you want them to always be able to fit through. Uh, anyways, so we have our four, our four uh, attacking wave units. And uh, so now that we've done this, let's make an upgraded tower. And this is where a lot of errors are probably going to come in, but whatever. So I'm only going to do one upgraded tower for the star shooter. Um, it can be you're up you can be up to yourself to make an upgrade for the other towers or however you go with this tutorial. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to duplicate all the actors just, just to be safe. Um, duplicate all these, except for tower death. No, oops, yeah. And I'm going to duplicate the turret, of course, and um, this unit, and this weapon. Okay. So now let's um, fix the name. So this is going to be the large star shooter. Um, and let's change, uh, I think this is good. Um, let's change his actor here. So small star shooter. Name's going to be the large star shooter. There we go. And the model for the, oops, large star. I like how it says photon cannon copy. That's good. And the unit, where's the model? Here's the model, is going to be a pylon. Oops, press Q, that's easier. The pylon's right there, because it's near the end of P. Um, let me just check, some, check something for our old one. I did have the model set properly, didn't I? Oh, I, yeah, I did, because I didn't duplicate. But when you duplicate, you run into all sorts of problems. Um, anyways, so large star shooter, shooter is set. The splat needs to be changed to large star shooter, large star 
computer is flat. Okay, and these should be okay. Um, damage copy. Get rid of copy. Large star shooter. Damage. Damage is going to be two now. And let's change. And I didn't get rid of phase cannon because I'm just being lazy right now, but you'd want to do that just to keep your map clean. Large star shooter. Launch missile. I think that's fine. And tower death. That's fine. So turrets. Let's name this large star shooter. Did I, I should be consistent. I think I called the button like large star, uh, small star tower for this tower. And then for this one, it's like a different shooter, whatever. Anyways, um, not, not a big deal, but shooter tower, same thing. Um, this thing, I think we can just leave, except just rename it to large star shooter weapon. And this thing, let's rename this as well to large star shooter. And let's change the, oops, let's change the speed of this to very quickly. So like, it's going to be like uh, 0 0.4 maybe. And it's going to have a little bit more range. It's going to have 8. And then, yeah, it's got the right damage. And uh, so we have this upgraded thing. We have the model changed. Um, we need to go to actors now and search for photon because we're missing a few things. As you can see, we have the large star shooter and the large star shooter splat, um, but we don't have these two. Or so, the first thing we go, let's go to the turret. So the reason in my old tutorial that the t that the tower never faced its uh, faced its target was because in here, it's only got one for the regular photon cannon. Um, so what we need to actually do is go add event here. Turret enable. Okay, and let's see, source name, uh, large star shooter, and then just go create. And that should be enough to make it turn. So now the photon, so the photon cannon turret actor will be in control of all of our star shooters. If you made more upgrades, you could add them all to here, so make sure they all turn. Um, anyway, so we need to duplicate the attack thing now. Don't want to duplicate the models though. And now let's change this to be phase cannon large star shooter damage and this thing. So this will make the sounds when it shoots. Um, that should be okay. We'll find out in game later. Um, make sure you watch my entire tutorial before you say like, oh, this doesn't work because I'll probably find a bug and then come back to the data editor and 20 minutes later in my tutorial and then fix it and duplicate this one and weapon let's make it weapon large star shooter weapon okay and uh, there let's set that and uh, where's the name the name's a different place every time. This large star shooter attack missile. Okay. So anyways, now that we have our second building, which should function, but I know I just I know something will go wrong. Um, we want to search for spire under abilities here. And spire morph building. And duplicate that. And duplicate the button because we'll just make our own and we don't want to duplicate anything else. So, uh, commands. So we see that we need to make a new button. So, um, but before I do that, let me delete this. Let me rename this to um, upgrade small star shooter to large star shooter. And let's go to buttons. Good, we got our little button here. And let's change this model, obviously not to this spire. <laughs> uh, let's change it to um, pylon, maybe. That'll work. 